In this video, I would like to show you how to use the exciting layout feature called Pattern Breakdown. Pattern Breakdown feature provides an incredible tool for visually demonstrating and practicing runouts. Proper runouts require a player to execute several sequential shots with excellent cue ball control. Often this requires landing in a relatively small landing zone for the best possible position on the next shot. The Pattern Breakdown feature leads you shot by shot through the entire runout. Pattern Breakdown uses the ICATS Pattern Ball, otherwise called the P-Ball. Each numbered P-Ball shows the suggested tip position, stroke speed, and track line to get position for the next ball. The P-Ball also serves as a challenging target for each position. ICA offers professionally designed Pattern Breakdown modules that illustrate the necessary cueing and target position for 8-Ball and rotational pattern practice. The Pattern Breakdown feature also allows creation of your own runout patterns. Here I have a basic 3-ball pattern to create a Pattern Breakdown for. I'm going to start by adding the first P-Ball by pressing the Ctrl plus N keys. And then I'm going to move the P-Ball to the desired location for the first object ball. Moving the P-Ball is the same as moving any other ball in iCATS. Then I'm going to repeat the procedure for the remaining object balls. Next, I'm going to create the track lines to show the desired routes to get to each P-Ball. Creating a track line is done with the same method as with any ball in iCATS. Finally, I'm going to adjust the tip position and speed indicator for each P-Ball by placing the cursor over each element and while holding down the left yellow button moving a finger over the trackpad. A fun and exciting challenge is to recreate your favorite runouts done by the pros on a streaming service. Pattern Breakdown Navigation is driven primarily by the use of the arrow keys. When you load a Pattern Breakdown layout, you will be presented with the complete layout with all the object balls, p-balls, and track lines. When you press the right arrow key for the first time, you will see just the object balls and nothing else. This view is great for trying to figure out your own way to run the pattern. The next time you press the right arrow key, you will see p-balls 1 and 2, the track lines to make the transitions from p-ball 1 to p-ball 2, and all other unpocketed balls. The next time you press the right arrow key, you will see P-Ball 2 and 3, the track lines to make the transition from P-Ball 2 to P-Ball 3, and all other unpocketed balls. P-Ball 1, Object Ball 1, and the track lines for the transition will be gone. As you press the right arrow key more times, the display will walk you through each additional transition until the end of the pattern. If you press the right arrow key again at the end of your pattern, you will be back to the full pattern display for further practice of the same layout. Press the up arrow key to go to the next pattern breakdown when you are finished with the current layout. The ease of use and clear shot instructions provided by the ICA pattern breakdown feature and the modules provide hours of fun challenges and an incredible tool to improve your runout skills.